we're looking to queen t let's look to queen t um let's look to the whole chart uh, you can see the price is coming from 400 uh, at 300 levels here i said the price will go to 30 dollar now we are here at 36 dollar uh, not 36 56 pardon so we have here an interesting constellation um, if we compare now the chart with bitcoin yeah, you can see the chart is here so it seems that we are out of this negative channel at the um, queen t price so that we can say okay the price drops to 56 now we reach here a stable situation that what maybe normal people think yeah but i think a little bit different i look to this here and you can see we test here this level and now we break here down so what i'm a little bit confused is uh, this downtrend here is going from here and it seems yeah, the queen t price break this negative trend line and go sideways yeah so if this is happening then we have not so much downtrend but if you look here to the Bitcoin price, we have here not the same or if we draw exactly the negative trend, we are still in the negative trend. Yeah? And uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah? Maybe we could go such here to the upside and make this. Yeah? Then we are also out of this channel. But I would say the experience, yeah, and the, the targets. If something broke this to the downside, this is not a good sign, yeah. And here we coming to the end. I expect this, yeah. And then the uptrend um, after the fall sixteen thousand. Test this level and then fall again. That, that uh, I expect. And if we look here to Queen T maybe this is a fake uh, outbreak yeah let's uh, uh, like how can i say um, go out of this channel make this test here and go again back in this channel so that if this happening then the queen t price is let me look if you say okay this is our negative channel if you adjust a little bit like this and if i co uh, compare this what what happens here then we can expect that the 30 dollar is coming that means from this point 30 dollar then we are at this level 26 so it makes sense that we're coming back in this channel yeah? so i would not trust this negative channel and this uh, what we see here i think we are in the middle yeah, in the middle of this negative trend so you can see at, at this line so i not calculate that this will hold yeah so i expect that the uh, price drops here to the downside very hard then we are here at these levels and then make retest and this so we can delete this you can see uh, this is very very difficult to to predict here and at these levels because they manipulate a lot of vaults yeah so you can see so i expect something like that and use i would say the the vaults can use also this so that we are landing not this that we are landing here at 26 dollar you can see exactly on this point and that is the key information to understand even if we have here um even uh, we are here out of uh, range even there we have a uh, negativity to the downside yeah and go 
more to the downside. Let's look. Yeah, positive is we have a falling wedge. From this point, the price could go really hard to the upside and could build here the next structure. Have a nice day. So we're looking to Bitcoin price. Um, I already uploaded a long-term Bitcoin price. You can see this, um, how can I say, a short-term video. And you can see that the next target could go to 16,000. Yeah. Um, it's depend what the walls make. Yeah? You can see we a clear break the structure here test is so much yeah. now we're breaking here to the downside so I think um, even if the vaults uh, manipulate the price here to these levels here or break this to these levels I not believe in that I expect something like that yeah, to the downside and you can see this channel goes to 15 16,000 yeah. so that is huge. I think um, from from the feeling here that we could reach the twenty five or the twenty thousand dollar level first. Yeah. So I think I don't think that we're going directly to uh, sixteen thousand. I think something like that. Again, test of twenty. 3000 and then finally go more to the downside and so if you're going directly to this level it makes sense yeah? um, then the retest is at these levels look yeah, so I think let's uh, draw this exactly uh, I make this in green I think this makes more sense. Come to the downside, make a retest. Yeah. Oh, they are quick. So downside 16,000, make a retest at uh, 23,000. Then difference is nearly 6, 7,000. And that means from this point we will break out that means we will break here out yeah? we delete the blue lines so that you can see so that is what I think will happen yeah? because we, we need yeah, we are in a negative trend line, yes, but we need to test this level because this level is our neckline. Yeah, you can see the neckline is coming from here and we have not the, um, not the time to spend here more time here at this level. I think that the break level is uh, 16,000 or if you make a retest, then at 10,000, we will break it down. Yeah. This is the panic area, and then finally to 3,500. Yeah, something like that. So, now many of the people would say, okay, why this is happening? The reason is uh, we coming to the end formation, and you can see. Um, the price is coming from 50,000. Uh, we have here resistance, yeah. We stay clear here in these levels, and you can see Bitcoin price cannot break this to the upside, yeah. The next trend is to 16,000. Have a nice day.